we have not talked about like you know regular expressions a lot on this channel uh, so today in this episode i want to show you what are the uh, like you know weak configured or or, or vulnerable uh, regex looks like and and how do we bypass i'll also show you uh, some examples on how in the real world someone can bypass uh, such regular expressions uh, especially for bug bounty hunters uh, this is very critical because uh, they they rely they they find this regex somewhere on the internet for some of the big organization and then they uh, try to bypass like cause vulnerabilities such as SSRF, open redirect, uh, XSS, all like you can, uh, all sort of vulnerabilities can be possible if you find a vulnerable regex and especially for the open source project because the code is pretty much open source and then when you look through the code and you find that oh it's one of the controllers rely on this one and, and like if it's not secure enough uh, you can easily bypass of course we won't be able to cover all type of vulnerable regex but uh, i'll show you like you know some of the examples which are widely used and and have like you know uh have found a lot of vulnerabilities uh please hit the thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for uh every week new episode and let's get started so uh regular expressions are mainly used for validating the user input now that input uh, could be for a text box, that input could like, you know, uh, be a, some part of a user form uh, or it, it could also be a, a, an input from another service. So uh, it's primarily used for input validation and the controls uh, are built at various layer. So if you if you are reviewing any application, uh, you would see this uh, like, you know, controls they would build either maybe inside the API, they would build uh, maybe like, you know, uh, extend external libraries. So one of the example is ESAPI by OWASP. Uh, so this is, and uh, let me actually bring this up. So this is the uh, open uh, enterprise security API. Uh, it's a free open source uh, library and you can like you know if you're let's say building a small application and you don't want to design the security controls by yourself you can use this library and which takes care of like you know some of the basic uh, stuff including the input validation uh, of course many organization relies on the ids ips and then also waf is like you know standard uh, way like I, I assume like WAF will be there for every application and we have done several uh, videos on how we can bypass the WAF filters um, but before uh, I think this is the one yeah so more security I think this is an open source application firewall uh, where it is which is used by many applications but of course nowadays everything is going in the cloud they are uh, like you know the organizations are also using AWS WAF and, and other um, uh, web application firewall which are available in the marketplace. But our goal is not to talk about the WAF or IDS IPS. What we want to see is where the regex are actually being used. It's being used everywhere. So sometimes often firewall rules are written with the regex. Uh, as I said, like input validations uh, are implemented using the regex. Uh, application actually rely on the, which is not a good thing like you should not be relying only on the regex and then sometimes malware detection is also so if you see certain applications like virus total uh, and 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 other application which does sort of this kind of thing they actually rely on regex to detect the content type or content of the file and, and match if it's a uh, malware or not so so irrespective of like you know uh, this three but regex also being used by like you know ids ips to write a firewall rules ah uh, sorry the the rules and then then also like you know WAF also uses the regex so regex is very critical uh that's what we understood right so regex is everywhere if you find that the regex is not well written uh, sometimes like you know this organization also rewrite or customize the regex based on their needs or or to decrease the false positive rate but then may uh, allow someone to bypass their security control so uh, of course they have like you know the, uh, to learn the regex is going to take a while so i'm not gonna teach you from the basics what the regex is but these are some of the anchors uh, and like you know some high level mainly used uh, uh, verbs that that uh, that we use throughout the regex so like uh, for example this one you have uh, it's it denotes like start of the string or start of the line this one denotes like end of a string uh, this is beginning of the string very end so th th there is like you know uh, several way you can uh, there are several uh, of course uh, 
customize the validation and, and using different anchors and different boundaries and uh, they also have various shortcuts so you can use all of this uh, don't worry if you don't know all of this right now our examples will will not rely i'll explain uh, like you know our regex which we're gonna use today uh, but this is uh, one of the thing that you might want to take it seriously and and, and learn about so uh, by the way, I have taken this uh, demo from one of the online source. So uh, I put the link and everything resource in the description if you want to read through it. But uh, let me quickly explain this. So this is a simple Flask application. What it does is there's a one endpoint which is post and uh, it takes the request from the user as a form of ID and category. So here you, you provide this to it will uh, give you like a financial news, I believe, uh, from the category that, uh, sorry, the, yeah, yeah, news for the category that you have chosen. And here it detects like uh, it, it's trying to prevent SQL injection by writing this regex, right? So uh, as you can see, it, it makes sure like if, if it's matching select union from where and these keywords, it's going to uh, like, you know, return false. So this is the application. It relies on this validation for SQL injection. Of course, we have learned that you should be using parameterized query and whatnot. But however, irrespective of that, if let's say this, well, if this regex would have been used for uh, uh, not this, but let's say cross scripting, maybe something else. Uh, and when I say something else, yeah, I meant like, you know, whether to check for the access control, whether this user is admin or not. Um, so if like regex is not only for SQL injection, but it can be used for anywhere, right? So let's assume in this case, it's using for SQL injection. Now, this is the request that it's going to look like, like we send the ID, we send the category it will respond like, okay, this is good. Now, if we try, let's say, um, our standard SQL injection payload like this, one, two, three, uh, or plus one is equal to one. Uh, of course, it's going to flag because it matches one of the input parameter here, right? Uh, especially the equal to. So it's not going to let it pass. So how do we bypass this? So uh, before we learn about that, it's very interesting to learn about what is search versus match. So here you could see we are using re.match. And then we are using this string and, and validating against the input that we have received from the uh, user. So now Python offers two different primitive operations based on regex. Match checks for a match only at the beginning of the string, which is very critical. While search checks for match anywhere in the string. And Perl does this by default. So let's take an, let's see an example here. So here we are trying to search C in this string. It's not going to find because it's not start of the string. But if you do the same with the search, it's going to find because it finds anywhere in the string. Now, regular expressions beginning with this can be used with search to restrict the match at the beginning of the string, right? So here, of course, we are not going to find with the match but here we are also going not going to find with the with the search because this denotes you can only only find the beginning of the string and that's why i was showing this this list before so this denotes like you know start of the string and here if you do this then you will find it because it's the beginning of the string starts with the letter a but note, however, that multi-line mode match only matches at the beginning of the string, whereas using search with a regular expression with the with the with this sign will match at the beginning of each line. So this is very critical. So here we are trying to find x, right? Uh, with the match, we are not going to find it because it's not at the beginning. Like it's only going to check for like you know, uh, as you can see, a check at the beginning of the string. It's not going to find so no match. Here with the search, it's like we have to find at beginning of the string because of this letter. However, if you use multi-line, which is the difference here, it's going to find it's going to search for at each new line. So here it's not going to find first it's going to match with the A. It's not going to find then there's a new new line slash and N it's going to compare with the B, it's not going to find it, and then again a new line and then compare with the X and it finds a match. 
So now using this, what we can do uh, in our access, uh, sorry, SQL injection payload, we can put this, we can start a new line, and then we provide the payload. And this one will be ignored by a match because it we are using match not a string uh, sorry not a search right if you're using match it's not going to search in the new line it's only going to search at the beginning of the string so here it will be like you know if we put a new line and and, and ensure I've, i'm not like put the enter i have actually put slash n for the new line and then it will pass through our control so this is this is a very very critical thing if you find a regex which is using a match and it's not using the and and not using search or multi-line, then it is possible that you can still have your payload start as part of the new line. Uh, so, like you know, one of the uh, like this was for the SQL injection, but suppose there is a system which validates whether uh, you are allowed to be an admin or not, or you are allowed to be admin for only the system that you own. However, if you put like, of course, admin and my system name and then slash n admin and then i put another system name it's going to let me through because it doesn't check for the new line and this is very very critical because uh, this kind of validation happens throughout the application now other thing which could uh, also like you know be vulnerable to uh, due to the weak regex is ssrf of course just a simple term ssrf is sir uh, like attacker is trying to execute some commands on the on the remote server by using the uh, in between system like an internal account so what we are trying to do here is there is a this is the side and it's trying to load from images from this provided url now the website prevent this SRF by injecting image parameters that contain certain URLs in a blacklist. So you can not execute or you cannot pull the images from these URLs, which are, I think, all the internal IPs. However, it doesn't check for the local IP address, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, which can be used to refer to the local machine. So you can still bypass. So it's very hard to, uh, so from my perspective, it's very hard to get the right regex and when whenever you have a critical uh, validation to make and uh, within the application you have critical use case you do not want to rely on the regex you want to have like a separate parser you want to have a separate system which validates this input rather than only relying on the regex to allow or disallow something this is another very uh, well-known vulnerability which is like denial of service due to regex and in this what attacker is trying to do it will it will feed us input to the uh, uh, to the application, which reaches uh, which reaches to the extreme situation and and uh, like consume a lot of processing power uh, of the of the uh, server and eventually cause the DOS. So as we can see here, uh, the denial of service exploits the fact that the most regex implementation may reach extreme situation that can cause them to work very slowly. Attacker can then cause a program using regex to enter this extreme situation and then hang for a very long time. There's also uh, uh, like, you know, on the OWASP page, again, I have linked everything in the description below. There's also a, a cheat sheet which you can use to uh, uh, test this kind of vulnerabilities. So we talked about, like we saw a lot of things about how the, why the regex are bad, how you can uh, like, you know, exploit it, etc. So what could be the uh, like, you know, uh, mitigation steps here? So one thing you have to be strict, you, if you have a lot of edge cases so you have to allow this but not this and this but not this then i don't think so regex is the right thing so if you can be very strict that you only allow if you have to like you know let's say validate the phone numbers and stuff okay this is good but if there is a rich text box and you have to validate i don't think so regex will be an will be a good thing now don't ever publish your regex onto the internet or or to the open source or anyone because everyone have enough time to reach like read through the regex and then find uh, craft a payload to bypass that uh, use the validated patterns i'll show you in the next slide uh, what are the validated patterns that the OWASP has so you can if you're if you're trying to validate uh, one of the thing you can use that uh, proven version of it rather than building your own uh, defense depth I think I've talked about this before so you do not want to rely on uh, regex for for like invalidation because uh, 
addition to input validation you can also use like prepared statement and like you know privilege of list privilege uh, principle and then hash password to minimize this sql injection attack and then first testing uh, so yeah uh, of course we have seen many demo of bird suite and it has many uh, sample payloads which you can use and fudge against your api and see if it bypasses the regex that you have so there are, there are two uh, resources one uh, you have the regex repository and the second one you have the input validation uh, i think so this is the uh, repository so here you can see if you are validating the url IP, mail, uh, safe text, date. Uh, so there is there is uh, like you know regex for uh, quite a few. Then there are also some resources here, and then of course uh, what you want to consider uh, when you are doing the validation. Uh, there is also guidance on the OWASP. So make sure you follow all this to build a secure regex for security professionals. Uh, if you uh, if you find out that the system is relying on the regex, try everything that you can. To bypass such regex because it's very very difficult to get a right one in place uh, especially for the critical operations so i think yeah uh, i don't think so we have talked about this before so i wanted to uh, share this i hope you like it if you do please hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section what kind of topics that you're expecting uh, in the upcoming videos and i'll plan that out but yeah thank you for uh, sticking with me and and i'll see you guys next monday bye